Are you ready for the Great Reset? 2021 may be a pivotal year. Wealthy global elites are planning your future, and what they intend for America and the world may startle you. Dale Hurd explains. Here's a video of your future. If some people at the World Economic Forum get their way, they say you'll own nothing and be happy about it. Energy will be green, rationed, and expensive, and travel will be restricted. Even your diet will be controlled, and currency will be digital. This left-wing dystopian dream is called the Great Reset, and you're supposed to be excited about it. The Great Reset has been labeled a conspiracy theory, and even sounds like a conspiracy theory. But everything we know about it comes from the global elites themselves, who have been quite open about it. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is a well-documented movement among many of the world's most powerful people. Justin Haskins is a leading authority on the Great Reset. Fundamentally, this is a radical and complete transformation of everything that we do in our society. To control people's behaviors, to control businesses, and to move society in the direction that you want to move it, it will change the way businesses are evaluated. It'll coerce businesses to pursue left-wing causes. The Great Reset was unveiled at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, where many of the world's most powerful people go to offer solutions to the world's problems. And the World Economic Forum sees the coronavirus pandemic as a historic opportunity to change the way the world operates. Right now we're facing a crisis of international proportion. It's going to have long-term impact for us. Their solution is essentially global socialism. Think of the Green New Deal combined with the COVID-19 lockdown restrictions and throw in something called the Fourth Industrial Revolution in which technology is supposed to radically change the way we live and work. Klaus Schwab is the founder of the World Economic Forum. What the fourth industrial revolution will lead to is a fusion of our physical, our digital, and our biological identities. It has the support not only of world leaders, but of global corporations like MasterCard and BP, brought to you by people who think they know what's best for you. By giving, you know, the elites, the technocrats in society, the, the most educated people, the ability to manipulate society, pull the levers in society, and, and manage and manipulate society so that it's, in their minds, perfect. One week before the election, Italian Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano wrote an open letter to the president, warning him that the Great Reset is inhuman faceless tyranny that seeks to subdue all of humanity, and that President Trump and the United States are the wall against the deep state, the final assault of the children of darkness. Over the past four years, Donald Trump has been the single greatest roadblock for people who are pushing this internationalist, globalist sort of agenda. The World Economic Forum and the Biden campaign even share the same slogan, Build Back Better. To build back better. It's also a phrase you, you've heard being used by Justin Trudeau, by the Pope, by prin the Prince of Wales, and by leaders around the world. English journalist and author James Dellingpole. You'd be amazed by how many world leaders are on board with this globalist plan, even people that claim to be conservative. This is worse than Nazism. This is worse than communism. This is worse than fascism. These guys are planning on taking over the whole world. Dale Hurd joins us with more via Skype. Dale, how might Joe Biden and Kamala Harris help to rapidly advance this global reset plan? Well, it's hard to find anything in this agenda that any liberal would object to unless, I guess, you know, you got down to AOC and they thought corporations were doing too well or something. I mean, this is a this is a liberal dream, a left wing dream come true. It's it's bringing utopia to earth. And um, Donald Trump has been the major obstacle to the completion of this. Hence, as I mentioned, the, the letter from Archbishop Vigano, that you know he was the only hope to stop this. Now, what are we talking about here in practice? Are we talking about Chinese-style politics with restrictions greater than those imposed on Americans during the COVID pandemic? You know, it's in a sense a bargain. 
they want to take away your rights and, and give you more and sort of, uh, you know, level the economy so that no one lacks, but, we, but then you give up your rights. For instance, they're big on us not owning anything. It's an Uber model applied to everything. And so you can have more and, and um, maybe you don't have to pay for certain things, but they can be yanked away from you because you don't own them. It's the abolition of private property. It's the control of energy. Um, you know, they're going to essentially um, tax and penalize fossil fuels into the ground so that all that's left is green energy. This is their big chance to um, remake the world and they're going for it. And you mentioned how COVID-19 restrictions and lockdowns are playing into all of this. So what about the coronavirus vaccine? How is that going to be uh, used to advance this agenda? Well, th they would certainly be for a mandate in uh, for, you know, vaccination in every country. Look, and, you know, it's astonishing the, the arrogance that this is all on, on the Internet. This is all on their websites. It's not on conspiracy sites. I mean, they would love for everyone to be chipped, you know, to, to get, you know, vaccinations for this and that. Um, essentially, under their, their plan, you lose control of, of your body. And, um, and, and it's this bargain that in exchange for that, you can trust them to make your life better. And Dale, I noticed something big is missing in this plan of the global elites, God. No mention of him, faith, just this fusion of physical, digital, and biological identities, nothing about the spiritual. Yeah, and, and more arrogance. It, it's like the plot of a science fiction movie where you're asking, wait a minute, where's God in this? I mean, and, and that is the world that they live in. It's this giant disconnect between the elites of the world that live, I don't know where, and, and, and the working men and women of this world. And I personally think that this probably isn't going anywhere because it's so disconnected from our day-to-day -day lives. Okay, Dale Hurd, senior international correspondent for CBN News. Thank you for providing those additional insights. Thank you, Gary.